Okay, it's time to put the CPUs in. Now, with this motherboard, we decided to go with an Intel architecture. These are 1366 sockets for two CPUs. So we got one here and one here. Now, for these, we bought this, uh, Xeon processors, 5600 series. Now, the Intel Xeon processor is a server CPU. So it's a CPU that's been designed to, to last and run all the time, right? So you can see here, Xeon processor E5607, 2.26 gigahertz speed. And you can see here, Brock's got the CPU right there. Now, he's going to want to make sure that he's careful with it um, when he takes it out of the package. He doesn't want to have any static electricity on him, so he doesn't want to be rubbing his feet on the carpet. Um, he doesn't want to be drinking coffee from a styrofoam cup, and he's probably going to ground himself. So with one hand, he's going to continually touch back onto the metal case to make sure there's no static electricity buildup. All right? Okay, so he's lifting up the zero and force and insertion force switch. Let's see here. Let me get that from the other angle. Hold on one second. All right, so you just lifted that up right there. Let me show, can you show it again? There you go. All right, all right. Now you're pulling out the holder plate. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's where the CPU is going to sit. important to look you can see there's a little little nubule gaps there and you have to pay attention on where mm -hmm. it is on the mother all right let's see that again so you can see that there is right in the corner there a little notch and so the notch is going to fit in and this helps orient the CPU into the socket and correct you don't want to just put it in any old way okay Sort of. Your hand's in the way, but there's no getting around that. Or rather, you just get in there correctly. Nice. Okay, you see how it... Mm-hmm. Right, that's the notch in the side. Okay, perfect. All right. So now you're going to close the latch. Latch it down. And then this piece, mm -hmm. you go over the top of that. Mm -hmm. Just grab it. All right, perfect. Now it's locked in place. Good job. All right, so what's next? Do we want to do both? Might as well do the other one too, right? Yeah, well, we'll have to get the other one out of the box. I've already cut it. Perfect. Good job. All right, that latches over, and then that one goes over the top. Very clean. All right, both CPUs are in place. Okay, what's next? Well, what I like to do is I'll take the, this is what they're going to be using for a cooler. So I'd set these in here just to see how exactly it's going to be oriented. Is it going to affect mm -hmm. the RAM? Some of the large cooling units will go right over the top of the RAM, so this one seems to be fairly 
good over here and this one looks it's going to be just fine too so that means we can uh, well no it's awfully close there but I think it will be just fine so we could go ahead and put these on the CPUs without affecting the RAM okay now we decided to go with a cooling unit that's going to cool the CPU that's a fanless cooling unit I took Steve's recommendation and decided that um, a cooling unit without a fan is another layer of security or another less item to fail which could then heat up the CPU and maybe cause it to fail so it's a nice fanless cooling unit alright but you pointed out there's a problem in it what's the problem? Uh, the thermal paste that comes pre-applied to this is dirty so you're going to clean it off? we're going to clean it off and Normally you'll have, you'll buy like a cleaner, there'll be a, a pre-solution you put on there, you'll rub it in there and you clean it all off and then another solution that will make it all sparkly clean. But, I've done this at home, you take a coffee filter and a coffee filter is actually a really good tool for cleaning the debris right out of it. Okay. So you can see it's taken all the debris with it. Great. And then if you can just keep going and actually scrub it on. This compound is actually really hard. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to actually scrub away on it to get it out of there. Okay, that sounds good. And then are you going to apply additional thermal compound on there? Uh, yes, we'll use a uh, uh, some thermal paste that that Dan has brought. It's uh, Arctic, Arctic Silver, Silver thermal paste. Uh, it's some of the best stuff out there is, and you can tell this one's been used a little bit, and this is a fairly good size tube. So, this is what we'll be applying, and this is this is great stuff. I use it on everything. Okay, and that helps to um, sit between the top of the CPU and the cooling unit, mm -hmm. and then helps to um, improve the heat transfer from the CPU to the cooling unit. Yes. Okay. Exactly.